Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Paul Hilton of Middletown. Hello, friends. Thank you for tuning in today, and I look forward to sharing with you that which the Lord has placed on my heart during this devotional time. We're speaking on lessons we can learn from Moses' life. And I would like to introduce a new scripture today, taken from Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. It says, For everything there is a season, a time for every activity on the heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to harvest. And when we look at Galatians 4 and 4, we tie them together. Galatians says, But when the fullness of the time had come, God sent forth his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, that we might receive the adoption as sons. Lesson number three is God has a specific time by which he will act. And God does things by timing. It's one thing to know the will of God. Uh, It's another thing to have the timing of God. And when the will of God collides with the timing of God, uh, there's an explosion in the spirit, and you begin to see your destiny and your purpose come in full view. When Moses was a young and strong man, he thought the Lord would use him to deliver Israel. He was bold and confident in the strength of his youth, and he was ready to take on the challenge. But that was not God's plan at that particular time. In Exodus chapter 2, verse 11 and 12, we read about Moses killing the Egyptian and hiding his body, which caused him to have to flee Egypt. And Moses had to run for his life. Now, fast forward years later, when Moses was old, because he had spent 40 years on the backside of the desert, and he was no longer as strong as he was when he was younger, God then called upon him to deliver Israel. But by that time, Moses was no longer so eager for the job. An aged Moses could see only the obstacles ahead and the inadequacies of his own person. And that's why he gave God so many excuses why he wasn't the man for the job. What is the lesson that we can take away from this? We sometimes look at the way things unfold in our life and we wonder if God knows what he is doing. But God does indeed know what he is doing. In this case, God went on to accomplish his purpose very well using a reluctant 80-year-old man. You see, beloved, the first 40 years Moses was trained to be a confident leader. The next 40 years of his life, he was trained to be a humble leader. And the last 40 years of his life, he was a competent, God-fearing, faithful man of God. We are all on the potter's wheel, and God is working on us, and God knows when we are ready to fulfill our divine assignment. My word to you today is to be patient. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your heart, and when God is ready to use you in a greater way, you will have been prepared. When God was ready to use Moses, Moses felt he was not prepared for the assignment, So he came up with all sorts of excuses, but God knew that Moses was right where he wanted him to be. He was no longer self-confident, but rather his confidence was now in the Lord. God sometimes humbles us before he can use us because we are too filled with ourself and our motives are self-centered. That's why the Bible says in James 4.10, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. If you wait on God's timing, you will never be disappointed. You've been listening to Pastor Paul Hilton of Middletown. And this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.